Kinga. I have to go milk the goats now, and I have to go wake up Ethan. So let's go do that. Ethan. Ethan, it's time to milk your favorite goat. Come on. Okay, so it's really old, or it's really early, and it's really cold, and we have to go milk before school because our parents are cruel. At least, though, we only have to milk two goats. Penny and Tilly. Rat Ethan. <laughs> oh, okay, you have to go walk all the way back there, Ethan, and you have to feed Hermione. Or she will not be quiet. Big. All right, Doris is set on not letting anyone in, but but Ethan, Ethan, just let Willow in. Don't let Doris in. Go, Willow, go, go! Jeez, why do you have to wait, Willow? We also need either Penny or Tilly in here, and neither of them are to be seen. Oh wait, no, I see, I see Penny. Penny, come on! Come on! Okay, she's coming, she's coming. Come on, Penny, come on! Come on! Come on! Run! Eh. Doris. Doris, can you stop being so scary? Come on, Penny. Come on. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. Doris! Run, Penny. Run, 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 Penny! Oh, oh Doris. Doris! You are the worst. Come on, Penny, come on! Good girl. Not you, Tilly. Not yet. Good girl, Penny. Alright, both goats need a treat. The worst part about having to milk at this time is that the sun always comes right through directly through this gap and it's in my eye the whole time. Yeah, that's the bad thing about not having this shade thing here anymore. Yeah. Hi, Burn. Hi, Stella. Feeding the chickens is a difficult process because we have to make sure none of these goats get in here. No, this is not for you. There we go. Are you gonna help us milk today? <laughs> yes. Alright, Penny. Go take a nap. We woke you up early. Oh, Tilly's ready. Tilly's ready. Let her in. Oh, okay. Doris, not your turn. Good job. Sorry, is the sun right in your eyes? Oh. Scout! Scout! I don't know if you can see her, but... <laughs> Why are you up there? That's too scary. Come down. They always climb up in this big tree and they're gonna fall. Good job, hello. Okay, I'm gonna get, since you guys aren't milking and you don't get to come in here for pellets, I'm gonna give you a treat. Here you go. There you go. Luna. Oh my gosh, Doris will eat it. I know Doris will. Good girl, she accepts treats. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Here, Doris, good girl. My goodness, Luna. 
you're not pregnant anymore, you shouldn't be like having pregnancy mood swings. All right, you guys woke up on time. You're doing good. Okay, these goats are all ready for their breakfast. Come on, Luna. It's right here. There you go. All right. I think Willow's done. Hold on, Willow. You're, you gotta get out last so it's not chaos. Yeah. Go Come on, Tilly. Good job. Okay, Willow. Oh, Come on. Oh, she wants to go up the stands. Nah. We have to go. Well, now we're off to school smelling like goat. Right, Ethan? Yeah. Yum. After the kids leave for school, I walk out and do a double check of all the animals just to make sure that they did everything correctly and that everybody got fed. Everybody looks fat and happy. I've been trying to keep a close eye on Luna since she has just started to pass her babies. Now, for those of you that aren't aware of what's been going on, Luna was pregnant and then she lost the babies. And now we've just been waiting for her body to pass them. Yesterday, she started passing them and she's had a little bit of bloody discharge, but not too bad. She still seems pretty bright and happy and seems fine. So, so far, so good. Oh, Luna. After I know that the animals are all good to go, then I head inside to get as much stuff done as possible throughout the day. I'm usually planning the garden, prepping food for the week, editing videos, and just trying to get everything on this farm and home squared away for the week. Kevin's usually taking the kids to school, running errands, working on little projects and fix-ups around the farm, and then he's always usually got a big project underway. Right now it's the goat barn, and so he's just trying to keep everything rolling, picking up roofing material to be able to do the roof, and he's a workhorse. He does a lot around here. <laughs> You're so funny. Ow! Are you in a playful mood? Huh? Today I am ahead of the game guys because I am prepping some breakfast burritos for the week. Now most breakfast burritos don't start with kale but mine do. After that kale gets nice and sauteed I'm going to fry up some potatoes with some peppers and onions. Right now I'm using store bought but in the future after my potatoes sprout and they plant and they grow we're gonna be using homegrown ones. Next, I'm just gonna throw it all together. I've got some whole wheat tortillas, I've got eggs, cheese, potatoes, and the kale. Gotta sneak in a little bit of veggies in this. These are great for the kids to just grab and go, especially after they've been milking in the morning. They don't wanna have to make breakfast for themselves, so this is a lot quicker. I don't really have a recipe to share with you guys, but breakfast burritos are pretty simple, so just throw them together and make it work. Willow still likes her stump, guys, just in case you were wondering. She's probably going to deliver her babies right here. Oh, yeah. Do you it, love it? It's a shady stump now because we built this chicken coop. It shades it all day long. Yeah. So she can cool off. Oh, she's going to rest for the day now. Oh, oh there you go. Doesn't look like a very comfortable stump. Looks hard, but... Uh... She likes it. Puts one leg off like that. <laughs> ah. Kiwi's gonna hang out. On the stump. I'm on the stump, next to the stump. Best buddies. Willow, you made a friend today. 